Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Today, I've got a quick tutorial for the Logic Pro X users. Very exciting time for us. We got an update last week that includes a feature that I've literally been waiting for since the day I became a Logic user. It's something that Cubase, a lot of the other DAWs have already had access to, but I'm just glad it's finally in Logic Pro because I've missed it. It's super convenient. It's something that I know all of you are going to use constantly, including myself. So let's talk about it. It is the transpose audio feature and it's available from the arrange window. So it's very easy to apply it. There are a couple things to look out for. I want to point out that I noticed when I first started using it that could confuse some of you. So I want to show you how to use it and just some things to be aware of. But let's just take a look at how you access it. All you have to do is just select your track and then when you have your region menu open over here on the left, you're going to see a transpose function as well as a fine tune function for your audio region. So this was not available in previous versions of Logic. Long story short, to transpose audio, you would either have to use a third party plugin, you would have to uh, go into the time and pitch uh, menu. It was just a very convoluted process to transpose audio. So now it's as easy as if we have just our lead here. And if I want to transpose it up, just hit up. We can go all the way up, maybe 12 semitones. So it doesn't sound quite as good if you, uh, you know, do dramatic transposing. But the one thing I want to point out is you'll notice that when I hit transpose, it marks this flex check mark. So the way that this transpose is working now is it's utilizing our flex algorithms. So if you're not familiar with that, let me just show you an example. Okay, so let's go down to maybe a hi-hat loop. Let's just check out one of these that I have in this track. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to transpose this, let's just say semi, seven semitones for whatever reason. Hit seven. So you can hear it doesn't sound right. It's, it's like it sped up the loop and it just doesn't sound right. So this is the part that was confusing because I already noticed that some people were complaining about how it sounded, how the flex algorithm sounds in terms of transposing audio. The problem is, is Logic by default, if you see, I just opened the flex menu and you just hit command F to open that. Logic will automatically select the algorithm over here that it thinks is the most appropriate for this type of audio file. The issue is that a lot of times logic is just wrong and it picks the wrong algorithm that's not going to sound right in terms of the transposition. So for instance, with this one, it selected slicing. However, we can hear clearly that it's messing up the timing of the loop. It just doesn't sound right. So for a hi-hat, I'm just going to go to, let's just try monophonic. It's a little better. It still kind of has a flangey. Let's try polyphonic. A little better it's about rhythmic so that's the same thing it kind of messes up the timing so i think monophonic is going to be our best bet let's let's pitch down so you you get the idea there you just have to make sure to select the right flex time algorithm because on instruments uh, things like that, It's you're going to hear the quality will be seriously degraded if you don't select the right algorithm. And if you weren't familiar with the algorithms for FlexTune and you just started using this, it probably would not give you the best results until you get in there and start making sure that you pick the right one. Let's try another one. Let's try the sub bass. So let's pitch that up. So the polyphonics actually sounds pretty good on that. I'm not hearing a lot of like nasty aliasing, but let's just see if it had done slicing or something like that. Yeah, 
that. So that clearly is just not working at all. And uh, yeah, the problem with this is, again, if you just had some audio in your region and it selects it automatically, you may or may not get the best results. So just be aware of that when you're choosing these things. Another great thing about this feature, especially for producers who program their drums with audio, there's a lot of people out here who like to do this. They like to just copy and paste their uh, samples for their drums into the arrange window. And now let's say you had, for instance, your kick and you just wanted to change the pitch of it very quickly. So right now, and let's just say we wanted to pitch it up. Pitch it down. Let's say we wanted to go to our snare drum and pitch that up to semitones. Pitch them down. The same thing with hi hats. If you have an 808 and you want to just program it and tune things up and down, very, very easy to do that. If you've got just a random little Vox sample or something that you need to change the uh, pitch of or even fine tune it. That's the other thing. We can fine tune over here and uh, very convenient to get to for you drum programmers out there. So probably the most useful function for this for me is I am constantly playing around with switching the key of my productions as I'm working on them. And in Cubase, it was very easy to do this. You know, if I want to go up two semitones or down two semitones or a semitone just to get it in the range of the artist, I can do that very easily. However, in Logic, when we start working with audio, it just became a super big pain to have to try to transpose all the tracks. Now it's as simple as just selecting all of our uh, melodic instrumentation here, even our uh, Vox things over on this side. Let me just let you hear what it sounds like as is. So let's just say that I wanted to um, up that one semitone. Just switch it there. I can just hit one on all those. You can hear, see, Logic selected slicing on these and it's messing up the timing of the, uh, the Vox we have here. So I need to switch the algorithm. So that's the one thing that I'm, I'm not real impressed about. They need to get it to where the, uh, the smart kind of auto flex algorithm uh, is more appropriate. So for this, let's just put uh, polyphonic or actually let's do monophonic. These are monophonic uh, little chops. So I'll do that and see if that works a little bit better. So yeah, I think this one's on slicing as well. It doesn't sound right, so I'm going to switch that to polyphonic. So let's try and go down uh, one semitone on everything, see what that sounds like. So yeah, it's a little better. Again, some of my percussion elements are tuned, so it's not quite perfect. But this should just give you an idea that now you can at least change the uh, the pitch, you can change the fine tuning of your audio regions directly from the arrange window. If you want to change the key of your song very easily with your production and you're using audio, this is a welcome addition. Again, this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. I know a lot of you have as well. It's not perfect. I think they have some work to do with it, specifically with the uh, auto selecting algorithm for flex pitch. They need to kind of get that a little bit better for those of you who are not familiar with using those in flex pitch it could be a real bummer when you start using this and it's not giving you the right effect or the right uh, sound so just be aware of that and you may have to go through and do some experimentation 
on your audio to make sure that uh, Logic is using the right algorithm to get the right sound, to make it to where there's not like aliasing or any kind of unpleasant results. Anyways, welcome to Transpose Audio and Logic Pro X. We finally made it. It's great to have it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about this, feel free to leave them below. If you learned anything in this video, please like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.